Let's talk about uh, Paul LePage. Paul LePage is, is our favorite. Um, uh, I mean, he is, Paul LePage is, I don't even know how to describe this guy other than he is the most blind to his own racism racist. Like he genuinely does not believe that he's a racist piece of shit. I guess because he's a governor of Maine and he feels like, you know, I'm not a racist. I've got black, I've got black kids that I've adopted. Well, yeah, that doesn't preclude you from being a racist piece of shit. Um, you remember Paul LePage was the one who referred to um, the drug dealers who come down, come up from New York and they get the white girls pregnant. And he referred to them as uh, uh, shifty and demony. And later on he was like, and I'm like, you know what? First of all, what human being refers to themselves as shifty and D money? Like well, if you're going to, if you're going to be, if you're going to try to parody black or gangster culture or whatever the hell they're going to call it, if you want to parody, parody it, at least be up to date. Like when's the last time someone referred to anyone as D money, anything, but I digress. He used that as a way of lamenting the rise in white, Girl, young girl pregnancies at the hands of drug dealers by the name of D Money and Shifty. Uh, but he said, I'm not a racist. Uh, this is this is who we're dealing with. A guy who is a full throated um, piece of crap. I'll, I'll stop referring to him as a piece of shit, even though he is. Um, but he's managed to one up himself in the most spectacular way. Um, LePage said in regards to John Lewis. Uh, Congressman John Lewis of Atlanta. Uh, he said that um, Lewis should say thank you to the Republican presidents. Instead of fighting Donald Trump or calling Donald Trump illegitimate, he should thank Republicans because of, wait for it, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> uh, here's the full quote. He said, uh, you know, I would just say this. John Lewis ought to look at history. It was Abraham Lincoln that freed the slaves. It was Rutherford B. Hayes and Ulysses S. Grant that fought against Jim Crow laws. Well, Jim Crow laws lasted a whole lot longer than Ulysses S. Grant, but I'll finish this quote. A simple thank you would suffice. For some reason, the left has become so hateful, and so they are trying to bully us out of believing our Constitution. A simple thank you would suffice. I'm going to be honest with you, Governor LePage, you should be glad that we even refer to you as a human being. Thank you um, to who? Donald Trump? You know, I don't even know if this warrants a dissection of the log logical fallacy. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Because, but I have to. I'm compelled to. Uh, number one. If you think that the Republican Party today is any way, form, fashion or form or fashion connected to the Republican Party of Lincoln's day, ask yourself who are the flag, Confederate flag waving Klansmen of the South aligned with now. And not even about them being Klansmen so much as they are champions of the Confederacy against which Lincoln waged an entire civil war. So how? Governor LePage, if you know history, how would it be possible for the Republican Party of today to be the same Republican Party of Lincoln when Lincoln was waged, not was, but he waged an entire war against the Confederacy? But yet and still, we have the modern Republican Party who are the the heir apparent and the the protectors of the legacy of the Confederacy. So logically, it just does not follow. And I don't even know why I'm wasting my time with people like this, because they clearly don't subscribe to any logic other than um, confirmation biases and, and everything else. But that's number one. Number two, even if it was the same party, which it's not, even if it was the same progressive ideas of Lincoln, which it clearly is not, what he did in the fighting fight and fighting the civil war and the emancipation proclamation, what he did does not remove our ability to criticize the Republican party today.
You do not get an eternal pass, right? It's kind of like you say, you know, ask him. He's going to say, Paul LePage, he's going to say, why are you still talking about slavery? Why are you saying that was, that, was that was 500 years ago? So you want us to forget about slavery, but now at the same time, we need to thank you for something Abraham Lincoln did? <laughs> uh, no, that's not how it works. I unfriend you. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. But it's, it's not even a logical thing here, right? I, I, I just have to break it apart because it's just the pet peeve of mine. It's the gall. It's, it's the, the unmitigated gall to say that anyone should thank the Republican Party instead of criticizing them for their intransigence, for their, their unprecedented opposition towards President Obama, for their fostering of this alt-right movement that is nothing more than neo-Nazis in dapper apparel. They, 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 they have fostered this sentiment in the United States. They have made the greatest division of race in American history, in our lifetime, at a minimum in our lifetime, and yet they blame that divide on black people. They want to simultaneously attack us and blame us for the racial divide. So it's just this, it's this nerve that if he, ah, well, he's an elected official, so I'm not going to finish saying what I want to say, but no, no thank yous will be issued uh, we're just going to read you your rights. We're going to read you your rights because you're clearly, clearly have become drunk on your own bigotry, your own stupidity and your own arrogance. And your own hubris to think that somebody now and, and personally, I'm not a fan of John Lewis. I think everybody can know that. Know that I like John Lewis previous for his work and I've met him, take pictures with him. But I'm not a fan of John Lewis, but I'm even less of a fan of white supremacy wrapped up in a suit and tie sitting in the governor's seat. 